Hey, this is Peter from Next in Web. More of you have notified us that you are working with more sliders and would like to put them into groups. This is a great idea, so we have made it possible in the Pro version. You can create a new group with the Create Group button. You can use this new feature in the slider dashboard by clicking on this button. I create the Museum group. The groups can be found in the slider list with a unique folder icon. I'm selecting the sliders and blocks that I want to put into the museum group. And I'll click on Add to Group. You can choose from three actions on the pop-up window. Move. The sliders will be removed from the dashboard and appear in the museum group. Copy. A copy of the sliders will be placed into the museum group and the original sliders will stay on the dashboard. Link. The sliders will be placed into the museum group and the very same sliders will stay on the dashboard too. So if you make changes on the slider, it will change in both places. I just need to move them. And now enter the group. The sliders moved into the museum group. If you don't need a slider in the group anymore, you can place it back to the dashboard with the remove from group button or move it to another group. The setting of the group, such as its thumbnail and name, can be found below. The best in this whole thing is that I just published the whole group of sliders on a page with a single shortcode. We hope that you will be able to easily organize your sliders with this new feature. In the future we would like to improve groups with bullets and arrows, so that you are able to navigate between sliders and we are working on much more new features. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.